Welcome to my lecture online. Now, when we look at the Zeeman effect, there's one more thing we need to take into consideration. There are limitations on the transitions. There are allowable and non-allowable transitions. Let's say that we're in the third energy level, N equals 3, and let's say that L equals 2, which means there are five different orientations of the angular momentum. M sub L can take on five different values. And let's say the electron goes from that level down to the N equals 2 level, where L equals 1, where there's, of course, only three allowable values for m sub l. Remember, m sub l is the magnetic orbital quantum number or orbital magnetic quantum number, however you want to pronounce that. And then you can see that instead of being able to jump from any one level to any of the other three levels, there are some restrictions. When we jump from the n equals 3 and m sub l equals 2, that means you can only go to the m n equals 2 m sub l equals one level. You cannot go to any other level. The reason for that is as follows. The transitions are only allowed if l changes by one and m sub l changes by negative one, zero, or one. In other words, m sub l can go up one, down one, or stay at the same value when l, sub l, when l changes by one value. So when we go from l equals two to l equals one, the only jumps that are allowed is when the value for m sub l changes by only one energy value. Since the number here is 2, and the closest to 2 that we have available is 1, there can only be one transition here. When we go from l equals m sub l equals 1, we can go from 1 to 1, or from 1 to 0, but not from 1 to negative 1, because that would be a change of uh, an energy value of 2, so that's not allowed. When we're at the m sub l equals 0 level, now we have three possibilities. We can go to the plus 1, the 0, or the negative 1 level, because those three represent only a difference of negative 1, 0, or 1. So those three are all allowed. Now when we go to the m sub l equals negative 1 level up here, we can only go to two particular levels, 0 and negative 1, because negative 1 is a change of 0, 0 is a change of 1, but m sub l equals 1 would represent a change of 2 and that would not be allowed. And finally, when the electron starts from this energy level and goes down to here, notice there can only be one possible jump from minus 2 to minus 1. Again, these energy differences are caused by the Zeeman effect, which are caused by applying magnetic field in such a way that there's a slight transition or slight differences in the various energies an electron can have due to the orientation of its angular momentum. So as the electron is spinning around, it can have various orientations. Those are quantized. Those interact with the magnetic field present. And depending upon the angle difference, there's a slight difference in the energy that the electron will possess because we take, we take the energy from being in this energy level and we add or subtract the difference due to the orientation of the, of the uh, angular momentum relative to the magnetic field applied, which even either adds or subtracts a slight amount of energy. As you saw in the previous video, if you take, took a look at that, we can actually calculate what that energy difference is, which depends on the orientation as well as the strength of the magnetic field. But at least now you can see that there's also a limitation on, on the energy jumps and from what position to what position the electron can jump from because we have to conserve the angular momentum in those jumps, and therefore the jump relationship is limited, and that's how we know.